So it's Monday morning, um, first work day, and we've been in here, um, I feel like I'm in kindergarten, we've drawing been drawing, drawing lines all over the place. Um, we're actually able to expand our facility and make our quarantine um, area bigger and then also add an extra nice pasture for the horses. So we've just been having a little meeting in here on what that looks like. And Owen won the, the drawing contest. Um, Pretty much a professional. Yeah. <laughs> mine, mine had some scribblies on it and um, Angela's. Angela Angela's forgot was, a few. Yeah, she forgot some of her lines, but <laughs> Owen passed. So Angela's copying it and then we're gonna figure out, we're gonna be adding a few more pastures and um, pasture shelters out there too, so. It'll be good. And then uh, I want to get over to the vet barn because Dr. Lydia is over there working on an eye removal in our in our vet barn treatment area. So first really big, big surgery over in our vet barn. But this is important. Gotta get it done. Yeah, in between all the rain. <laughs> You're back. I'm back. We've made it. Yay. Yay. Mm -hmm. We get more drawing assignments. Oh, nice. right, everyone's happy now. And, uh, Other than Corey. I'm always happy. I'm always <laughs> okay, well, we have a plan. We can start moving towards the plan. I, I still think we'll just follow Owen's uh, drawings. I do like Owen's drawings. And um, I'm going to go yes. check on the vet and see what's happening. Mm -hmm. You can yeah. draw. It's pretty snazzy. Mm -hmm. You're all like it. I was just going to run out there, but uh, no, it's it's raining. I'm going to get my jacket on. So I never cover up my hair when it's raining because, unless it's pouring rain, I guess, but my curly hair loves rain. So it just gets more pretty and curly, I think. So I I, I don't mind if it gets wet. Bobby, hi, look at you. Oh, 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 oh. That's adorables. <laughs> to get a catheter that would stay taken in this thing. Wow. Don't get it dirty. Don't worry, we didn't need your flashlight in any rush. It's really good because you're we didn't do the first part. Dr. Lydia. Don't get it dirty. Yeah. Oh. I would have a very hard time reaching up there. Do you want Doritos for now? Don't you touch my catheter, horse. <laughs> So actually I'm going to be doing a removal, <coughs> basically a ruptured eyeball. Yeah, um, a ruptured and very infected eyeball and you can see the pressure on this lower lid. There's a lot more pressure back behind. So this poor horse like has been okay. really, really painful. <laughs> Probably a couple torque twitches. The stock is so nice. It is so nice. Ready for clippers? Not from you. Why don't you just talk to Tony about this procedure okay. for her video? You're going to have to stand on your four legs. Okay. Dr. Lydia, keep talking. I'm very patient. So you got lots of cool things here, but this, this is exciting. Yeah. So, um, we got our autoclave here. We've had to autoclave things off site before now to ensure that we had sterile stuff, but we have an autoclave here and it's wonderful, which is great. Even with a really infected surgery, it's nice to make sure you have fully sterile instruments. <coughs> so this is awesome. And I, I said this earlier, but this surgery wouldn't be possible without this room and these stocks. We wouldn't feel comfortable attempting this in a stall or in a shoot elsewhere. It's the design of this particular stocks that makes us feel comfortable. So this procedure hopefully will be really pain free for this horse because we're blocking nerves and then also um, a lot safer because he's not going to go down and get back up. So yay for the vet barn. <laughs> this is so happy. <laughs> have like, permission to remove eyelashes, but so I'm cute. going to, I'm going to train. You want to give me a kiss? Um, okay. I'm not, I don't have my... Sometimes we kiss our... It. It's very... Kiss our, mm -hmm. kiss our patients. It should be okay to tip back and forth just a little bit. Look how cute his lips are, you guys. 
Sometimes it's not appropriate to mess with anesthetized patients and other times it's like the best thing ever. So you can see, see he's got nasal drainage. This smells, you can't smell it. It smells terrible because that infection is still advanced in our eye. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. Well, this is so exciting to see it. It is so exciting. Yes. Look at him just resting. He's just like, this is perfect. This is what we want. So see the detomity? This is what detomity does. <laughs> he's got those feet really planted, which is what we want. And, we and he's leaning on these stacks and they're holding because it's open to the floor. Mm -hmm. Jenna, would it be helpful if I like stand behind your shoulder and give you suggestions yeah. about what's happening? <laughs> Alright, I am going to warn you that this vlog is um, I mean it's in the days of Tawny's life. So you're gonna see things that I see. And I like seeing medical procedures and and being close in seeing things. So if you don't like it, um, just kind of fast forward over this. But if you do want to see what I actually see and I find interesting, uh, keep watching. Well, You're doing a here. great job. Hmm. Now I'm over your shoulder. <laughs> Good job, Jenna. One of the things that we're going to do today is a retro bulbar block, which involves a uh, three and a half inch long curved needle that's going to slide over the eye but inside the socket and um, lock the nerves in the back of the eye so that's a fun one. Let them run it in the cup. That looks fun. Yeah so I'm trying to envision and match the curvature of the eye because we don't want to the eye is already ruptured right but we don't want to hit any of the vessels or nerves or anything that are in the eye itself. Good boy. Here we go. Here we go. You're all right. I'm very thankful to the donor that sent this. Yeah. It has been used a lot. My neck is thankful for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think we could really use some new clippers. Mm -hmm. Better clippers here. If you're watching this and you'd like to send some clippers our way, we would be most grateful. This is so awesome to have this vet barn. It is raining out there. It's miserable. Yes, and you come over here and we're able to you're provide doing a great job. And I'm, top quality I'm not super care. rushing you because I know I can just top my patient up. He's not on the ground. Mm. It's nice, huh? Yeah. All right, let me scrub and then see where we're at. Okay. Jenna, I'm going to do a few more quick lifts. Yep. So we are putting local lidocaine around these lids. Our goal is for him to not feel anything that I'm doing surgically so that he's really comfortable. Yep. You can just take this off. He's got to go this point. <laughs> if we can avoid torque okay. to avoid the twitches, let's do it. We should have sufficient, sufficient analgesia on board. <clears throat> we are still blinking. Oh gosh, I never hit that. Um, can you hold the syringe for me? I told uh I'm gonna need you to put the syringe on for me. People you watching my video, I'm too? like yeah. I like watching things like this, so <clears throat> you wanna watch my video? Can you come up here? <laughs> this is what's happening. Watch the un the not so scary version. <laughs> watch the weekly episode. Okay, nice. Can you go ahead and inject? Like about three cc's. You did awesome, awesome right. job. You're gonna have pressure. Okay, disconnect. So oh, sorry. One yeah, go for it. Three. Yeah. Okay. Yes, please. <laughs> sorry. Okay.
guy. He's gonna feel so much better. Can I have um Casey, can you open an ot suture pack for me over here, please? Yeah. Thank you. Let's um, get my Dazzleam if we need a little bit more because he's still very sedate. Two mils, my Daz. And uh, you're going to have to get it out of the lock box. It's okay. Um, I'm going to go with we're going to need to do something. Okay, different. yep. Let's give some more door. Okay. Another mill or two. Let's go with one. Okay. Are you guys okay if I continue going? Yeah, I'm gonna get him a second. Okay. He's like, do you though? <laughs> this eye is so abnormal. So much. So I'm not sure if you can hear, but it is pouring rain outside oh, and it just that. makes my heart so I'm happy. Just that we're in here, Local it's dry, and we're able to help this horse. And so I just want to thank you all so much for your support that helped make this this vet hospital a reality here at our facility. Right, so basically what's happening right now is the eyelid is being um, removed. Non-sterile blood. So what we anticipate vascular-wise is a lot of skin bleeding. The two, the three major vessels are at the medial and lateral canthi, and then at the back of the eye. So we have successfully blocked this eye. Um, we have a good plan of anesthesia. We've um, surgically clipped and cleaned and prepped and sutured the lids closed. So essentially the infected area is contained inside the glue of the eye. Um, and so now we're making incisions just parallel to the lids above the lashes um, so that we can cut around our surgical area. And then the next step, we're gonna take blunt instruments. So the opposite of sharp, we're gonna take things that aren't really sharp and pointy and we're gonna gently um, create space in the tissue around the fat of the eye so that we can remove the whole globe. <coughs> and from here on out, most of the rest of the surgery is by feel because we can't see back behind that eye. So um, I like to take things pretty slow and gentle. We want to just make sure that we're kind of feeling our way through. And this is exactly what we want to see. Our patient is stable and on his feet and relatively comfortable. <coughs> Do you need anything else out of this pack before I read? Uh, I don't think so. Thank you so much, Jenna. And so we're essentially going to do this 360 degrees. So this is a sterile pack, so the outside is not sterile, but the inside is completely, so we had to do sterile gloves. We only needed one instrument. We will be using this pack later. Mm -hmm. um, so I just needed to sterilely open it, get her instrument, and then close it back up so we can use it. This afternoon, I'm some space. So I did say that you all could see everything that I see, but the editor said that it's just too graphic. So it's going to be blurred, but still basically almost what I saw, but not really. But here's the surgery. Just don't lick your lips. Yeah, I can prepare. <laughs> that would be nice. <coughs> So we're tra transecting some ligaments and some soft tissue and then just kind of a lot of fat in here. Do you want tissue clamps by chance to hold back the island? Sure. Can we hold that? Let's see.
Can you incorporate this guy? Love it. We were supposed to shower and where do you go? Yeah, it's proximity. Close proximity to the You're doing great, buddy. All right, so um, uh, the vet needs a stool, and we have a mounting block in our training barn, so I'm going to go grab that. Oh, look, the porta potty is being brought down here. We actually got a porta potty for up at the auction intake. And it was super nice to have up there. And it's being moved down here. That's awesome. Okay. And got to climb the mounting block. Possible to do this procedure if we did not have this medical hospital. We couldn't be out here in the rain doing something like this. It's a really rainy, wet day. to that stuff. Casey, can you grab some Ott PDS for me? And I'll need the needle drivers too. So I'm gonna try to see if I can snag it and close it so that we don't have <coughs> the really nasty infection that's in this eye pour out into the back of the head. This horse is gonna stay on some antibiotics for sure afterwards regardless. But closing that hole is gonna help. Starting to bleed a little bit. Okay. Um, why don't we go ahead and get more detomidine ready to go? One mil, and then if you want to write that in the computer after we give it. It's just easier for me to move it than it is to try to describe. Lips. He's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> So you can see he's kind of like chewing and blinking and those are all indications that our anesthesia was getting a little bit late. So we are dosing a little bit. It's a fun little, fun little dance. The around the eyeball dance. Sometimes holding multiple things in your hands saves you time, and sometimes it doesn't. Ooh, always lands in one spot. Yeah. Clarence is located okay, nice thing, buddy. But I think surgical time-wise, like, if I did this every week, we would be about, I would say we can probably get done in about 45 minutes. <clears throat> 
Well, everything goes in waves, <clears throat> but let's hope we don't get these every week. I mean, honestly, like, I would do this a whole bunch of times. My colleague was like, they do this for these for, like, under two grand now. She was like, just refer it. And I was like, $2,000? Mm. <laughs> You're doing a great job. How are you doing? Is, is filming over there? It's not too bad. I've been hiding behind everything, so. They are in her the working viewers... interview saw some pretty gory stuff and handled it like a champ. I mean, I've seen a lot of this stuff, that too, because I watch that before. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, yes. It's more graphic on TV? Yeah. Yep, there it is. Um, can you pull up another 10 cc's of lidocaine? And did you watch me curve that needle? I did catheter? Okay. Style still around it. Yeah. What time is it? Eleven fourteen. So the tour was given two hours ago. Okay. Um, why don't we go ahead and do one more of tour? This was a We'll get that on film. Yep, I was gonna say. Oh my goodness, this is Imagine how much pain he was in. Where's the rest of that? What is that? The aqueous humor. Cool. A little bit of bleeding. If you transect it deep in the globe, that's the one that you have hemorrhage from. So that was a really nice. See that guy? Mm -hmm. See that little squirt right there? Talk about reactive. transecting nasolacrimal duct with this method. So we anticipate serosanguinous discharge from the nose for the next couple of days. And that is normal. Look at this. Is that a muscle? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a nerve. And it's fully transected with no response. So that means You have the wet pack right here. I'm probably gonna need to grab that second clamp. I'm also gonna need a fresh pack of Ott suture. Here are my bigger issues. Can you open that? I don't need that quite yet. Are you for sure gonna be here next Monday? 98% no. <laughs> sure I'm gonna be here next Monday. However, uh, my other job has some possible ambiguity in scheduling over the next couple weeks, okay. which is totally out of my control. So um, I hopefully will be here. I'm planning to be here. They're thinking about planning how to stay the doctors and the adoption event on Monday. Okay. So yeah, we've all discussed our backup plans. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Clamp, which should be maybe right there, the kind with the little mm -hmm. trap pinchers. Alice tissue forceps. Yep, right there. Yep. Perfect, thank you. Nope, you're okay. Yep. You're going on stuff that's coming out of the eye.
see optic nerve confirming that the bundle is clamped. Is doing a great job. I know, that's what I was thinking because it's, it's glued though. Of course it is. That's why it's just chilling. <laughs> okay, we got all. Did puncture the capsule, but you did get. You got the whole lot. We did. Do you want to flush in there first? Yes, that would be lovely. Um, <clears throat> I would love betadine, like straight betadine. And pain-wise, he should be pretty stable. The optic nerve. Is... Well, then we just get all the gross debris out the same Do it. first. Then yeah. Iodine. Yeah. yeah. Flushing out this space, getting all the debris and clots from surgery. Without ruining her suture. That's really cool down my I'm just releasing this to see if we have any Yes. <gasps> I used the ot that you opened for me for closing. I have one more tiny bit to slice off, and then the last luster is yours, and then we're closing. <coughs> when you're ready, you can give us an update on uh, how everything went. Okay, everything went great. Um, we're about to close. We didn't have any hemorrhage. We were able to get all of the infected tissue out. And he's just gonna have some sutures and hopefully do great. Very proud of him. Mm -hmm. We're so excited. I'm super proud of our technicians. Definitely could not have done this without both of their wonderful. Absolutely. Look at how much cleaner it looks. Yeah. The fun part about that text. Ugh. I mean, in the human world, you have a nurse and an anesthesiologist. All right, I'm gonna go grab more. In the vet animal world, you got one. <laughs> Floppy eye socket. And beautiful. what's your what's your next procedure after this? Oh, what you're doing? Oh, yep. Yeah. So we're gonna do a subcuticular closure, which is the tissue underneath the skin. We're gonna close in two layers. We're gonna go up underneath here and um, try to eliminate a little bit of the dead space and get the skin really nicely lined up. So I don't think we're gonna need a pressure bandage because we haven't had any um, hemorrhage, but I do still wanna put a stock in it. Mm-hmm. I'm just drooling, buddy. Oh, goodness. Yes. Chance I might ask for mm -hmm. so good. Um, a cutting. And let's order two-aught PDS cutting and 
hot PDS cutting. This is going to work. I'm not going to remember any of that, so we're just going to regroup. I already okay. wrote down one of both of them. One of them. I, I got the two hot, but I need to write So subcuticular was closed in a simple continuous doing horizontal mattress on skin. It's okay, Benny. You're doing Almost so done. good. It's all right. Your job is done. Basically, you're passing it over yeah. to our lovely technician. What did you think of everything? What was that? What did you think of everything? I think it was awesome. I mean, this is a newer technique that I haven't seen, and I think that it was really successful, and it looks beautiful. So we'll see how it heals. And most importantly, Jenna's arm is not broken. Yes. Mm -hmm. Take a halter off to put on the To put on the Hey, buddy, you did a good job. Okay. And so he was wearing a uh, red tag at the auction, and that meant he was very critical. And um, that's like, these are the ones that are critical. They need help right off the bat. And we got him help. And he's, he's going to have a, a great future now. You know, this horse is only 14. Yeah, 14. And what's, He's a very good boy. what's nice with a situation like this is we know that was most likely the problem that sent him to auction, yeah. not some other underlying issue. Yeah. So we get that fixed and he's good to go. Oh, look at the this. Oh. Yeah, go, buddy. Your big old head. Okay, I got it around this cheek. Hold on. Where is this? Who's in there? I think we have some other clothes you can wear. You can wear. <laughs> Did we get in 20? Yes. All right, I am back to what I need to be doing, but uh, this was fun to uh, help out with the procedure. I held the flashlight a lot. That was my job. Look how swaying he is. Yeah. It wasn't dangerous at all. Yes. So, super, super excited. Pouring rain outside. And we're able to be in here helping horses like this. This is amazing. Oh. oh. I'm going to go scrub my arms off and change my shirt because we have a lot of other patients to see. Okay, that was exciting. Um, I could spend all day in there, but I got a lot of other important stuff I got to do. Um, 
But yeah, he's gonna do great and we're, I'm so happy for him. Out in the rainy weather. Good things happening there, yay. I am so excited. The vet hospital is something that we desperately needed. We have so many procedures here and um, January we'll have two vets, one full-time, one part-time, and I'm, I'm so excited about that. Our level of veterinarian medical care is amazing with that vet barn. And yeah, super excited. Horrible, Dr. It? Lydia's coming and she needs new clothes. Yeah, I, okay. I can kind of guess why if <laughs> looking at the pictures. Oh man. Yeah. She's, she get, she get yeah. messy? She's very messy. Oh. So she's coming to you and I said I'd give you a heads up. Okay. I Poor Dr. Lydia. It. She's Poor Dr. Lydia. She's kind of bloody. Sometimes it's a messy. Oh, great. I mean, I don't faint when I see blood or anything. You wouldn't have wanted to be in there. Oh, well, I don't want to see her now. Just, Just tell her to grab one. It went yeah. good. It went yeah. good. Yeah. Did they figure right. out if the mask was actually going into his eye? It was a ruptured eyeball. Oh, yeah. poor baby. Yeah, so she's coming in all bloodied up. Oh, great. Well, I will You're grab right. her. Oh, here will... she comes. I will grab her. No. <laughs> Yeah. Tanner's gonna try not to faint. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Tanner. <laughs> no, it's okay. I don't. I don't. Cool if I use your sink back here. Yeah. That's what I had it in the kitchen, and then I was like, you know, maybe. Yeah. Think this sink that people eat their food on. Yeah. I mean, I do at my house, but. Alright. Yeah. So we're having lunch in the media room, and uh, we're actually having our a little bit of a Christmas party because. Oh, um, oh we got some there. gifts for everybody. Yeah. Do you want to wear one? And so they're getting passed out. Come on. Okay. Yeah. Funny, I had to wrap my own. Did you wrap it <laughs> on the Oh. Aww. I'll wrap yours. How's it going, Keith? It's going pretty good. They come in from working on the vet trailer up there. Uh, getting drywall done. So. Staff housing. Oh, I got something. <laughs> Yay. Did you guys get the same thing I did. Another two dollars. Kenzie's like, what? Do we have scissors in here? Sorry, I'm opening mine. Does anybody need a box knife? Oh, oh my God. We're trying to open this present and then pass it down. Sorry. Okay, I had scissors until someone stole them and didn't bring them back. Yeah, there's somebody, plenty of knives listen, guys, somebody steals their scissors. <laughs> Somewhere there's a big pile of scissors. It was me. <laughs> it's not anymore. That was one thing I worked on. I, I, I pick up scissors and I walk away with them. I have shelter. I might have gotten through legs again. Nice. I know, I tried. Yeah, I, like, no, I tried to use a flag and I got told no. I know! I caught you. I didn't catch everybody. Okay. I also, I got a fanny pack because I struggle whenever I go to auction. Yeah. And then I got a little whiteboard. And it's right getting. Oh. Yay! <laughs> Look at 
Nice. Oh, really nice. Nice. <laughs> I wanted wow. to make language TikToks, so I needed one. So. Thank you. Oh. Wow. Nice. Very cool. Amazing. Oh, sorry. 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 Socks. Hey, I got socks. <laughs> 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 Isn't that the quintessential worst Christmas present ever? And you're not when you need it. That's what I would have for. They're not nice for your socks. Wool socks are nice. If you're responsible for buying your own socks. Exactly. That's what I was going to say. After a certain age. Nice. Socks are needed. I started opening this ahead of time because I knew you all wouldn't want to wait. <laughs> but same thing as I me. got a pocket knife. I think I really did. No one's asking to borrow other people's knives. <coughs> and I just want to point out that this was my idea first. Oh my. And then people uh, copied my uh, idea. Mm, they copied it. <laughs> did you copyright your idea? Yes. They are different. They They're are different. different. Mine's black. Different. Mine's kind of black, black too. Mine <laughs> has a design. <laughs> it's kind of black. <laughs> All right. See what you wrapped for yourself. What did I wrap for myself? Was it your little wrap on again? I did yeah. a Yeti. Yeah. Yeah. David, do you want to open yours? We we ended up keeping you because you were at the microwave. I need some of their pocket knife. <laughs> Listen, you have a bunch of bones. <laughs> oh no, I have not Corey wants it. Corey wants it. Corey wants it. Just rip it. Whoa. Did you want to say it? Headphones. Headphones. Wait, what? Really? Yeah. That's very small. I guess they're folded. Oh. Yeah, they fold. Multi-purpose pen. Oh, nice. multi-purpose. What's the other uses besides a pen? It has a ruler, a level, uh, it's iPad wow. touch, and there's like a screwdriver. Oh, wow. Definitely wow. multi-purpose. Oh, so his knife. Oh, you're going to say you can, can be a knife. You can chew on it, you can throw it up. <laughs> exactly. Is it me now? Yeah. yeah. It is. It identifies. <laughs> it does everything. I love it. Miss Dallas. Such cute wrapping. Yay! It is the book that I wanted. Yay! Nice. So this is the five rules of the master herder. So it's supposed to apply like, you know, the different roles of horses in a natural herd to people. So I th I'm guessing it's like a management type thing, but also nice. just like how to work well with people. Nice. I'll let you know. <clears throat> Thank you. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, if you find it, I'll do that. I'll just I'll let you borrow it for sure. Okay. I'll just go ahead and choose. For Corey. Yeah, that'd be nice. Alright. See what we got here. <coughs> oh, here we go. Okay. I got it. And I got horse socks. Yay! <laughs> Nice little black pouch, though. Oh. Ooh, look at that. Another pocket knife. <laughs> nice. There we go. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. All right. <clears throat> I have no idea what I'm doing. Maybe it comes with a sharpener. I decorated stuff. it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
see what you got. Take my time. I don't want to rip this pretty paper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry, sorry. No, I'm not sitting there. Oh, I thought you were going to come sit next to me, John. Oh, sorry, Owen. I got all excited for a second. And I got my host got ruined. It's all right. Well, no, no. It, He's still sitting close to you. Just imagine that that's me right now. Okay, I'll just imagine. I'm going to make room for Jenna when she comes. Subway batteries. Yeah. <laughs> Leather hole punch. Wow. Can always use one of those. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I have used one of those once. That I've used them a lot. Mm -hmm. They come in handy. Mm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, everybody is really <laughs> forgetting at <laughs> one. Okay. Delectable tea. You said delectable tea or deadly tea? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I don't know about that. cards donated um, and we were able to use them for purchasing gifts for our employees for Christmas. So everyone kind of got to choose what they wanted. I got horse socks, colorful horse socks. And, um, and we have a few more people, but um, we just did that big surgery and I think they're recovering that horse still. Um, but uh, we have some bloopers to watch and um, bloopers will be interesting. But you're not going to watch them all because they're for staff. <clears throat> you're not staff, sorry. Oh, I thought you, got, you opened up a t shirt that said something about the Yep, there's yours. Are you excited, John? Very excited. Very excited. Stress levels are going to be reduced today even more. Stress is going to be reduced. Oh, it's just some kind of fluffy, fluffy sort of cuddle bug. There was a, a survey. Oh, oh, there was a survey. I do remember this survey now. Wow, they really wrapped this thing. <laughs> wow. And I thought it would be nice if John had to work to get to his present. It really is. Because I know idea. how much he wants this. Wait, is there another bag inside? Listen, no, you better I put don't this. know. There is a bag, another bag inside. Oh, oh, yes. You better put yeah. something on it. I doing that with you? You better put a tracker on that. Can you imagine when that thing's going to end up? We're going to try to steal it from you. Oh, yeah. This is perfect. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. He has an appointment to be microchipped. I wish it squeaks. Oh, he's getting microchipped? Yes. That's great. He doesn't look like a microchip. Yeah, he looks like a microchip. Yeah, he looks like a microchip. Yeah, he looks like a microchip. Yay. Look at his eyes. They're definitely curled. It's not a rubber chain, John. I wish I could. Uh, would, would it have, oh, it does have a zipper. Ooh. Oh, 
Oh, you're gonna hide in there. I'm gonna put a squeaker in there. Good idea. Yeah. It's just gonna microchip it. Yeah, microchip it. Yeah, that'll be great too. Oh, oh, did you oh, see? No, no, no. This is your brother. This is your new brother. <laughs> this is your new brother. Okay? <laughs> oh, do you want to wait for? Oh, I can I have yes. Do you guys want to eat? Come have a seat. Um, where, where is the boss? Yeah. We're in the, in the process. And she just did an amazing surgery, by the way. She did a great job. Um, those stocks held a lot of weight. That horse like basically sat on the back of the stock. Where's Dr. Lydia? Oh, she's got it. Yeah, she got a present. Hey, Mark, you got to open ours. I'm going to call you guys. I'm so sorry for being late. He had to wait until he was awake. Yeah, now he had to wake up. All right. So, well, you want to open your present for sure. we're waiting? There's a chair over here for you, Dana. We've been saving it. Yeah. Yay! She needs a second. Just a second. Just a how did you guys know that coffee is my love language? <laughs> Anything you can get coffee. Does everyone get one of those puppies? I wish. Yeah, he came in the box. Aww. He did come in the box. We didn't have enough. So I love this color! So Thank you, so guys! So fun! It should say something on it. Oh, God. <gasps> Yay! I say the animals, what's your superpower? Oh, nice. Okay. So, why did you decide that? And then, what did you get? Casey? I got an egg maker. Oh, my gosh. I love it. Hard boiled, soft boiled, poached, or I have one of those. Oh. awesome. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> And Sailor got a puppy. I did. <laughs> I love it. Foster puppies. They're from another organization staff. Yeah, yeah. Yes, let's see what Jenna got. Did you get a lot of her guys? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> 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 Sailor got a puppy. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, Oh, yeah. 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 There is an empty chair over here. There's two empty chairs. There's two empty chairs. This is the bloopers. For staff. Oh, we're turning it off now. I'm going to enjoy this and sit back and watch it. Um, maybe you'll see it someday, but not right now. Yeah, it was at work on Friday. We got a call that a whole litter of puppies needed saved. And Owen said no, and I said yes. So I brought them home and saved them. That's <laughs> where we end up. Right and then we kept one. Aww. So they're all saving. That's your weakness. Mm -hmm.
John. Yeah, what, what, I'm sorry. Did someone come back here. What, what are you saying? What are you doing? What? What, what are you happening? doing? What's happening? What's this? This? Yeah. What's are this? you like pregnant? I am. You are. <laughs> it's the. Um, That's strange. Yeah, it's it's very strange. I don't know how it happened. It just happened. Oh. Mine looks very natural. I see. This is a. <laughs> I can type. I can rub. And it even comes with a car charger. I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't think uh, you should drive and have that on. Yeah, that's uh No, no that's when you're going to If, I, if I'm driving, though, this will protect me. It's like you have a very custom yours, So yours chest. is driving yes. accessible. I think yes. he's trying to look like a body Um, Tanner, yes. you just make Judson drive and then you can that's use very that. All right. The joys of getting everyone back to work after lunch break. <laughs> Hmm. Having fun? I'm having fun. Like, yes. And then, yeah. Because <laughs> I was looking for the, uh, like, I don't know, 50 inch one. Hmm. Um, but yeah, as long as you don't distract from your work. No, mm -hmm. it's not distracting. You can throw in your other chickens over Yes, there. it's daddy, mom, the baby. Wow, they sure had a big baby. They did. It grew pretty fast. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. That is but like Martinelli's. <laughs> it's sparkly cider. It's sparkly cider. It's sparkly cider. It's not illegal. You're not like um, downing stuff during work. Uh uh. No. <laughs> Definitely not gonna just, you know, do that in the middle of the break room with all these little luscious Lovely people ladies. around. Oh, luscious. Thank yeah. you. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I couldn't not, resist. I'm not entirely. No. All right. So, um,. So, I'm just waiting yeah. for my computer. Okay, well, Dr. Lydia is using it. And as soon as she's done, I'll use my computer. Just fine. All right. Code in the door, and when I grab the door knob, I look up, and then I realize people are. Anyway, you're gonna light her on fire. No. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if this is a good idea. Uh, okay. And there we go. <laughs> what do you think? Dear. <laughs> we did have to do this. The, the, Okay. Water thing right here. I'll be spraying at you. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, it's solid. Looks good. See? All right. And I'm alive. And you're good to go. <laughs> Thank you, Sailor. You're welcome. <laughs> and I'm, I'm still just hanging out. Just waiting. Me too. She's, she's on my computer. And when the vet's on your computer, you just leave them, leave them alone. Let them do their thing. Just waiting. And Faye's waiting. Hello. Sometimes there's a lot of waiting. Yes. Very yes. much so. Right now on the is team. very much waiting. <laughs> Faye was just here. She didn't have anything to do. Uh-huh. Okay, I found something for you to do. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna video how many animals were adopted and placed. Um, okay. Cause that has not been done yet. Yes, Kimberly will have a mic. All right, Faye is going to film that. <laughs> so, how's everyone looking for love? Puppies and kitties looking for love. And who found love last month? So, those are all our adoptions and shelter adoption placements. Now, the computer is back where I can use it, so I'm going to be on my computer and getting some work done. Um, starting an organization, you might think that it's a lot of outside stuff, but when you're nearly 20 years into an organization, there's a lot of stuff happens behind the computer, and that's where I'm going to be for a while. All right, so... Uh, we did a lot today. <laughs> we did. And uh, I, th I think uh, Jenna deserved the hug. And we had a really fun day. Some of us listened better than others. <laughs> Some of us are not very good listeners. Uh, we got a lot done, and uh, you all are amazing. How puppy. It's so fun to use all the things that have been being built for so long. It's like, it's really it's so exciting rewarding to, to use it. them. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, great 1500 great pound horse did not fall on us today because of those stocks. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. It was very yeah. sad. It was a good day. That's an amazing day. Uh, we got a lot of food. So. <clears throat> John, 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 John. 
you have crackers. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he, he got an orange. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now. You can be here. He's got an orange, though. Oh. You want an orange. He's got an orange. Oh, yeah. I'm feeding <laughs> my chicken now. Is that from Puerto Rico? Yeah, I got from Puerto Rico. Yeah. That's Puerto a Puerto Rico orange. It's imported. No, it's oh. not imported. They wouldn't let me okay. take like oranges so from Puerto Rico anyway. Well, know. I'm glad you got your your, your, your new chicken. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm enjoying it. Good. Like I can. It's your stress relief from yeah, all the yeah. editing. Alright, cool. right. we'll see you tomorrow. The secret is I can use this as a pillow so when Jason's not paying attention. Oh, no. That's not good. <laughs> no, he'll see you in the video camera and be like, uh huh. Uh, no. I have never seen you sleeping on the job. I can't fall asleep. Not like I enjoy my job. I call it a day and <laughs> add it again tomorrow. The other ones? Just, yes. Deadlines. But which one do you want to focus on? So. It would be whatever we're at at that time. Okay. okay. I mean, I would like it to be done before the 15th. Yeah, but yeah, I'm, yeah, just, yeah. I'm just saying, like, that, that is the cutoff. Like, yeah. Lots of meetings. Yeah. The night of the 15th, and we take it over probably yeah. Yeah. that Friday. Yeah. Things like this happen. Yeah. Of course. The next Sunday might be out. And then, then uh, uh, question where does the. Uh, and then just have all the episodes ready to roll. Does the announcement of the winners in the first episode, too? All right, so I got done with my meeting in the media room, checked in with these awesome people. They're very busy this morning. And I got a package on my desk. And um, this is my, it's from My Draft Horse Supply Company. So I'm thinking it's a draft horse something because you know we all rescued a bunch of draft horses. So I'm gonna turn this around so you can see uh, what it is. All right. <clears throat> if things are addressed to me, I will open them, and then we'll take them back when we do the uh, package opening, so everyone can see what they are. But I'm really curious what this is. halter and it's red so it's the right color to go to the auction and quarantine um yeah so at the auctions we use purple red is quarantine uh so these will go in our quarantine barn that is so awesome and i don't think it says who who ordered it per se but i'll check it out more uh in a little bit but this is awesome so more draft halters, because we just rescued 14, and um, we didn't have enough draft halters, so we got some now. Very cool. <clears throat> All right, so now that I know what it is, I'm going to put it down over here, and then when it's the um, live package opening, I will take it in there, and I'll know what it is. All right, so let's see. I've got a bunch of other stuff going on. I try to drink water <clears throat> every day, and I like this thing because it, it keeps me on track of where I should be. So right now it should be right here. So <clears throat> I'm gonna drink some water. All right, <clears throat> now we're on track for the day. And then I'm gonna get my laptop out and get going on all the crazy stuff I have to do on the computer <coughs> and um <coughs> it's very boring so i'm gonna shut the computer i'm gonna shut you guys off for a while until something more exciting is happening um because just sitting here working on the computer <coughs> is not that exciting but uh we do have a surrender coming in here in a little bit um sounds like it was a domestic violence case they had to get rid of her horses this morning um, so they're going to be coming in. So I'm going to get some stuff done and then, uh, watch, uh, that surrender happen. Um, the horses are coming in. Owen's bringing them in and then, um, the lady isn't going to be here. So <clears throat> we're not going to see her, but we are going to be able to help these horses. 
So uh, get some work done and then be ready for that surrender when it comes. Surrender just got here. Uh, there's somebody else here too. Hey, there's somebody else here, so I don't know if it was two trailers or what, but they'll be coming in the office. You might want to shut that door. So we're going to head over where the surrender's happening. Hi, baby. Hello. Ellen's been working on this ditch because we have always a lot of water here. We can get seven inches of rain in one storm and the ditch is working well. And we're going to shut these panels. Of course, there's a huge... Ugh. Okay, how am I going to do this? There's a huge uh, mud pile right there. designed where we can close them in and just unload them. towards her house and loaded up two horses, a mule, and a donkey. Was it easy? The horses were easy. <laughs> the mule and the donkey, not so much. I got smushed in my trailer, uh, stepped on, almost kicked. Uh, yeah, all the fun stuff, all the fun stuff. All right. Good job. I'm glad you made it back safe. <laughs> I'm still in one piece. That's, that's I important. I haven't checked to make sure, but... I feel like I'm still in one piece. That's important. <laughs> Sorry, there, I know it's scary. I'm a scary dude. So. <clears throat> and she had no halters, no nothing. We got these ropes around her Hey, baby. Take her in there or just unhook her here? Or how do you want to? What do you want to do? Is she coming? Yeah. Now we can just guide her in here. And She's take super cute. Nice little girl. Hi. It's like, who are you? Come on in. It's fun in here. We get to play in mud. It's great. <laughs> are we going to come a little further? Yep, there's friends over there. Come on. <laughs> And this next one's loose? Yes, the next one is loose. If you just open that panel there, she'll... If I just open this panel here. You want... Here. I can hold this one so they don't get in the corner. Do we need to cut it off? <clears throat> yep, I'll, I'll swap you. Jenna just decided that this is I have self-preservation. Owen job. I don't. I thought we'd go How's it going, Justin? Ah, reinforcements. Here, why don't you hold this gate open? No, it's super sweet, too. This one? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Come on, girl. Somebody's been eating tails. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> the lady said that that black one thinks that the white one's her daughter. That's how they act together. I, I don't know how I'm doing this situation, but we're going to try it. So you want to jump in here and grab the donkey one? wants yeah. out. Is that our dang no. That's a big 
big donkey. Oh, yep, I know. Oh, they're cute. It's a donkey that had hooks in. Oh, oh, that makes the story even sadder. Can you get off the plane? I don't even know what this is. Hold on. We're getting there. Hold on. We're, we're getting there. The donkey said I'm actually leaving. Okay. Uh, oh. We're coming. We're coming. Oh, it's so cute. Uh, oh, hold on. This thing just keeps donkey. going. What is happening? Woo! Or Mrs. Oh, Mule, I'm sorry. For Mrs. Mule. <laughs> How does it come out? That is a lovely yeah. All good questions, Sailor. They're so cute. This one has no manners whatsoever. Great. Oh, uh, looks I'm, like a mini Yeah, mommy. I'm really shocked. That's wow. a shocked. Hey, is, awesome. is that donkey a jack or? Uh, so this is a female, right? That's a male. A gelding. Is it a gelding? I don't yes, see anything. Yes, that's a gelding. Yeah. And this is a female and those two are females. Okay. We're probably gonna have to cut this one off. <clears throat> well, I'm glad the ropes weren't like where they would get down on their necks and choke them or something. Don't watch the video. I take this halter off this one. Yeah. It's a sweet donkey. Yeah. So Jenna, you know about the situation too. You want to explain kind of what happened? Yeah. So this is a, oh, which one am I looking at? Um, you look at her. Yeah. So this is actually a pretty sad situation. Um, this lady was in a domestic abuse situation and she had to get out of her house to be safe. Um, and she wanted to ensure her animals were safe. So she reached out to us and thankfully, um, we were able to make that possible for her. But it, it is super sad that that she's in that situation and that we had to get the animals out. But so overall, <laughs> these animals are in pretty good shape. Um, they're really sweet and everything. So we're kind of excited to intake them, know that they're safe, um, and now that she can get out of her situation as well. So overall, it's a great thing that we were able to do today. Okay, so they're gonna be settled in. The medical team's gonna do their intake, but pop over here and see Mr. Chicken Wing. Hi, Chicken Wing. We rescued this little guy. He was just bones, You're so weak. There. I thought he was gonna die, but he is, he is doing good. All right, back to my computer I go. Um, there is another surrender here. I don't think it was on the schedule, um, but we are an open admission shelter, so people do just show up and surrender animals. We're not gonna turn any animal in need away. Um, so, yeah, another. Another surrender. Hi, baby. Hi, you. How you doing? Looks like he's maybe older. All right, the surrender's here. My little domain. I'm glad we were able to help out those um, four and I hope the lady is able to get to a safe place. And that's really, really sad um, when somebody has to give up their animals because they're being abused. That's, it's, it's so horrible, but I hope she speaks out and I hope she gets help. All right, uh, today's been extremely busy um, so far. So we had the group of horses come in. Had, um, Dog and goat, the dog. We have a goat coming in, and then this horse um, is just coming in. So, definitely a lot going on right now. Oh, the story. Media team needs to stay quarantined in there and keep doing it. Uh, I think media team needs a quarantine. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Lots and lots of people are getting sick. All right, so we've got a lot going on this morning. Um, staff meeting, everyone's getting sick and and uh, not doing well. Um, it's a rainy, drizzly day, and um, yeah, it's calm right now. Yesterday, we didn't think it was gonna be that busy, and it was super busy. Um, let's see, we had dog and goat adoption. There was a horse adoption. There were five horses surrendered one dog and um, 
yeah so everyone there goes Faye she's gonna go start filming for the weekly episode um, David is over there getting ready to feed and um, yeah everything's everything's going going good um, we don't have any medical here this morning because Jenna one of her personal horses had an accident so she is rushing that horse to the vet and our prayers are with them um, it's it's a hard situation, but hopefully everything will be okay. Um, Casey is sick. Um, Corey's sick. CJ's got a horse emergency on her personal life. Um, so yeah, skeleton crew, but that's okay. Um, we will get it done. Any, uh, any words today? This any is, words? This is just a personal video. Oh. And it's kind of behind the scenes. I've just been videoing everybody. I, well, it's stuff. just kind of like the stuff that happens in our lives here okay. that don't make it on the film crew the other people do. So basically, we're just really short stuff today. I'm just kind of running around trying to fill in some of the gaps and yeah, stuff such as life. And we run around, and make things happen, and it all comes together because people do run around like you. Do, do yeah. what you got to do, yeah. fill in the gaps so that you don't really feel like it's. Crazy, you just kind of do it. It still feels crazy. It still crazy. Oh dear, sailors out there in the pouring rain without a jacket. Oh, she's trying to catch this mule. She needs a jacket. All right, up we go. gonna catch their death of pneumonia out here. Good thing it's not cold, but still, it can't be soaked. Kiss your face. <laughs> Trying to move critters out of the rain. And they're not I just want to tell you seem a little ungrateful. They're ungrateful. Yes, that's the word. Okay. Alright, it's a donkey. Ugh, there is water literally everywhere. Alright, we need to move. We should be doing better. Corey is still sick. Okay. We're gonna have more sick employees. Like it's raining, raining, raining. I just went out there and took rain jackets to people. Yeah. And they're only wearing sweaters out there in this rain. And, and they're, the gonna get, right. they're gonna get sick. It's not super cold out there, but they're gonna get sick. Yeah, it's raining, but, um, but it is pouring. <clears throat> so I took one out the sailor. I told David to come in and get a jacket. Oh. He did have one yesterday. I don't know what he He's did. not sure where he put it. I said, I don't care. Go get another jacket. Yeah. Yeah. Don't wear a they sweater out there. Okay. There should be another raincoat out in the shade. All right. Hopefully, we have got people not working in the rain without okay. a jacket. Okay, thank you. I you having issues working too? Yes, <laughs> very much so. What's your issues? It's pouring down rain, and so this just gets too wet, and yeah. I don't want to damage it. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's it's just a. Yeah. Hopefully it stops, but it, it doesn't honestly it. look. <laughs> it's all wet. <laughs> oh, poor thing. Yep. Yeah. No, I took one raincoat out. <clears throat> there's only as much as. Yeah. Can. I think there's three because, well, like there's, there's this this one. Owens. Owens. Okay. Do you remember? And, and then there's these two. Well. And there's one out in the train. I bar. believe Ivan is the white horse that we got from um, Lindsay when, mm -hmm. when we were doing the covert auction. Do you remember? Yeah, he was a 
he was returned. Yes. Um, I'm trying to remember if that is the same. We just have to look back on our sheets. I can and look see. At the he records. was totally blind, which and came in with a with a dolly collar, and I was calling it calling him Dolly. I believe it's the same horse. Because he was kid friendly. He is completely blind, but he but they had been riding him and he was completely broke and everything and he and I remember that he rode amazing. So I wanted to be able to talk to Jill about that. I know that but I'm pretty I sure he had some bad behaviors See what I, I caught one without a rain jacket. He said no I'm good. Huh? Okay, I said a jacket. Okay. We don't, right. we don't have enough rain jackets, but well, if you're just out there... No, I'm going to use the cart. The jackets are good. The jackets are okay. good. But if you're out there in just a sweater, yeah. that's okay. not it's good. seeking through your clothes. I mean, those those are pretty good. I, you shall pass. I gave David my uh, my jacket to wear out there. Okay. Because just a sweater well, you're lucky, is not okay. I was going to have six five on a coat. David does? I don't know where it went. He has his own. He probably... He could have taken it, it back to our... A, it was in the... Okay. Uh, Never we'll mind. figure it out, they but <coughs> yes, they need they're just a sweater. Nobody yes, wearing yeah. just a sweater out there because that's ridiculous. They're like it is pouring. <laughs> Sorry, Jill. Yes, I'm sorry. Sorry, Jill. We're gonna start flooding into the office here soon. survived out there. Uh, barely. Yes. Barely. Just soaking wet. <laughs> A river runs through it. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> so I almost made running. poor Kimberly jump into the river with her no. small boots. But like they actually stayed dry until about like five minutes ago mm. and then they just I, they got flooded because they only dry up to about here. I hope the horses are grateful they got moved out of the rain. Well they at least have access to shelter now. They Not just, that they'll um, use it. They probably won't use it, <coughs> but, but they at least have access to Heroic it. efforts. Yeah. Probably won't be able to get to the horses. So the person who was having their doctor appointment at one tried to leave a message and called and canceled because they are flooded, just like we are. Interesting. Mm -hmm. that's, that's frustrating. It is. Oh, well. but I can gotta understand stay safe. being flooded in this world. Oh, yeah. you got to stay safe. Well, um... That does make it a little bit easier, just because today is such a crazy day with so much rain. Um, I hope the person's okay. Um, getting flooded in is not fun, but uh, in Tennessee, we can get a ton of rain. Um, there's a lot of, I mean, the forecast is just rain, rain, rain. Uh, we can get seven inches of rain in a few hours with these storms that come through Tennessee, so it's it's hard. Um, it's, it's really hard, but we do the best we can. Um, the weather is not always in our favor. Uh, so the starter side David's using is broken down because it flooded. Uh, it drowned. Can't handle too much he just, water. Who just walked past? Who was that? Corey. Corey. Oh, good. Corey's here. <clears throat> All right, maybe Corey can take a look at it. Hey. Corey, good to see you. Hello. Didn't think you were coming in. Yes, um, I am here. One of the I had a court this morning told you guys about it. You did tell oh, me about it. Yes. What did you do? I had a speeding <laughs> Another ticket. Another speeding ticket. Another speeding ticket. It got ticket. dismissed, so I, I, I had uh, three, I three of them. Speed. Three speeding tickets. And so far, the first two have been thrown out. <gasps> so I've got one left. Phew. At some point, the judge is going to recognize you. <laughs> well, it, it's different courthouses each time. Yeah, so. like, you're smart enough to get them in different counties. You need to slow down. You I need do to slow need to slow down. slow down, yes. The side-by-side, -side, the feeder one, is not working. What happened? It won't start. It just sits there clicking. Sounds like, like you don't even, you don't even The starter won't even like turn over. Anyways, like if, if you want to take a look at that, yeah. um, it could have gotten a short with the amount of So what was the video like? It's a day. I'm, I'm videoing day-to-day -day operations. My, uh, my speeding tickets and my <laughs> extracurricular activities outside of work. That will keep you <laughs> driving slow, maybe. It, we well, all think Corey needs to drive slower. Got so got some uh, good news, too. Mm -hmm. In about a week, two weeks, I'll have a truck. Nice. Yes. He also got in a wreck. Yeah. Not I was not speeding. Totally transparent. Fault. It wasn't his fault. Somebody not hit him. 
was a really and, bad time. And uh, now she's trying to get another vehicle. So, yeah. Anyways, this isn't a pick on Corey show at all. It sounds like it is. Yeah. I'm just going to go outside. All it was is, tiny. Corey, we need and you to go check out Tanner that. Tanner told you had the day off. We yeah, I week ahead. Tanner, you're on the wrong day. Yeah, it's Wednesday. No, no, no. I changed that to the following Monday. Anyways, we'll get it figured out. Hopefully, the little side-by-side -side will start running. But it's just one of those days. It was busy yesterday with people. Now it's busy because of the rain. There. <laughs> <laughs> he is literally dripping water yeah. everywhere. So Corey's gonna go look at the side by side right. and see if it'll work. But you're really, really wet. Yes. You need to like probably come in and warm up here. It's, fine. it's not cold outside. It's, it's nice. Just, it's a warm storm, yeah, but it's, it's still it's super just... irritating. Oh well. <laughs> well, I'm glad you got my jacket on. Hopefully that's yeah. at least keeping you a little drier somehow. These were supposed to be waterproof, but instead they're just keeping the water inside. That's what's happening for our <laughs> shoes too. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm trying to dry them out, but um, yeah, it's not. I mean, life is like it's, they're like they're it. soaked. <laughs> yeah. yeah, look at this. Oof. Yeah. Isn't it interesting that Corey came in after the rain started like letting up a little bit? Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if it comes do. back, honestly. Oh, he <laughs> he actually has a speeding ticket. Like he had to, yeah, he said he has three. And he said two Wait. dismissed. But this wasn't his girlfriend's speeding ticket. No. Because he came with him, so. No. I wouldn't be surprised with her challenger. <laughs> Y'all might be finding out too much personal details uh, with this vlog thing I'm doing, but <clears throat> anyways, um, yeah, we're just trying to survive the rain. Trying. Trying. Trying is the key word. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to erase some confidential information because um, <clears throat> you know, I got a new card, a debit card. And then you made a mess. And then I made a mess. And you sent papers all over the office. Well, I And I was only here to see a little bit of it. I was pretty clean now. That. I was just wanting to like just put a credit, a debit card right here and just finish my job. But apparently this machine did not want to. Um, hmm. And we realized that it was full. So yeah. Now how's so, your day going besides that? Good, great. Good. Doing great. Yeah, everything's working. Yeah, of course, we're still here. It's doing great. And uh, now we're going to get fired. Yay! <laughs> Why would you say you're going to get fired? <laughs> you need to get fired because you're so wet and cold that uh, she needs to get some fire to warm up. Maybe there you go. Start there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heater yeah. or something. Yeah. A little fun. Heater. Yeah. Okay. Everyone yeah. works very, very hard yes. here all the time. I, I tried to throw a sailor in the dryer and turn it off. Yeah. 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 I'm fired up. So I think I found the issue. Oh. We have a relay that's busted. Oh dear. Well, I think that would cause that. The side by side. Because when you turn the key, that starts clicking. It's clicking. Usually that means it's working. But then when you go to turn the key, it's just like grinding noise. Grinding noise? Usually that means it's a bad starter. That could be it too. But that wouldn't be an issue. I unlikely. Okay. Well, I can't get to the starter because all those bolts are stripped. I guess we need to call the, the dealership and have them come pick it up and fix it for us. Angela! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which one yeah, is that? That's the Honda. The Honda. Did you set up a password for me? Okay. Angela's not here. Well, um, sounds like it needs to go to the shop, which will put a huge strain on our organization's outside team because we use both the side-by-sides constantly. The really good news is that at our last board meeting, the board voted that we could get another one. Um, so we have to go shopping for a, another side-by-side because -side, uh, we could really use three here. They're constantly in use and if one goes up, and decides it wants a vacation for a while and wants to go hang out at the spa, which is the mechanic shop, um, we're up a creek. So now I've got to find Angela to get that one into the mechanic shop. And then I've got to start looking around to see if there is any other options. And super excited that our board voted we could, we could get another one because we really, really need it. And it really does help with the um, work here. Oh, it looks like they got the golf cart going. That's good. And then Corey's over there working on that one. 
All right, Owen has arrived. Mm -hmm. he's Finally. Been, he's been here for just a few minutes, and he ran around putting fires out, and uh, the biggest one was the side-by-side. Uh, -side. Got it running. Loose battery cable. Fixed it up right. Started right up. Now it's running. Yay. Got it. All right, well, good job. Good job. <laughs> There's an acronym for that, what, uh, what Owen just managed to do, and uh, knock on wood, it's called KISS. Keep it simple, stupid, and I should have checked the battery cable. <laughs> After Corey should have checked the battery cable. Yeah, simple stuff. After David should have checked the battery, yeah. <laughs> Good but, job, you know, Owen, take all the credit. Professional. <laughs> Go professional somewhere else now. All right, I'm going to professional outside. <laughs> Well, now I don't have to worry about looking for a new side-by-side, -side. but ultimately the board did vote we could get one, so we will be getting one in the future. It's just not an emergency now, so that's good. So it's not currently raining right now, but um, it was getting super slick right here, so we're putting some mats out so people, hopefully, don't, it's like right here that's super slick. Might want to flip it around. Yeah. And then just have it on the edge, and then ah, I think they go together. If yes, we turn this, if we turn it, turn it around, it. and then we turn that one around, and that one, when people step up, they're not gonna go flying. That's actually really smart. And by the time they get over here, they'll be dry. So I'll and just go hope they'll that. be dry. So that yeah. way, the space between is not slippery. If you slip on this, uh, that's good. Uh -huh. That's good, yeah. Because then you would reach out. Yep. That should work. There we go. Yay! It's after Tuesday, and the farrier was coming, and that was canceled. So, yeah, nothing. So, more things are canceled. Those are canceled. From what I have, yes. The farrier's canceled because, like, Y'all spent time catching horses yesterday. Of course. Yeah. It yeah. happens. We, had all we, knew, we knew we were ready for him, so he's like, yeah, yeah not today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's never done this to us before. Yeah, well, if we're so. not ready, he's always here. Yeah. So, man. Schedule him in the afternoon. And in case he's back, yay. Yay, yes, he's here. <laughs> Sam's here, Casey? Corey's here. Good. Good. Oh. <laughs> as good as I can be. Yeah, no, that's great, that's great. So. All right. Is there anything else on our plans for <coughs> No? Stay yes, work hard. hard, get a lot done. Work hard, get a lot done, Good and stay as dry as possible. Okay? And try to stay healthy. And healthy, yeah. All right. Uh, does anybody have any prayer requests or want to pray? You have a prayer request? Yes. Yeah. We're taking one of the dogs home, and I really, really want them to get along with them. Buddy, um, that works outside. If you walk into a barn and the outside light is on and it's daytime, just go ahead and shut it off. David has been shutting them off as he's out yeah. feeding. He did that great yesterday, but you can help him with that. Yeah. So, any... And if it's the end of the day and you work in, like, a climate control that doesn't need to be climate controlled, like the studio in here or anything like that, and you're leaving and it's near the end of the day, just shut off the heat. Man. Cool. Oh, yes, that reminds me. Cat climate probably does not need to be 78. The cats with fur, I think... 62 60 is fine. Something <laughs> would be okay. So, 60. <laughs> I actually turned off the heat in there, yes. Straight up. Yeah, yeah, with these temperatures, it's not like they need. Because I don't yeah. think they actually need it on. But when it gets really cold, like we don't need the cats to be at, you know. Correct. They, they don't need to be in the I think the problem why it was higher was because when it was really cold, like the treatment room has other rooms on either side of it, and so it heats up better. That one doesn't, and I think that's why, because one of the mornings it was super cold, but yes, it can be off with this temperature. But right. setting it at 80 doesn't make it heat up faster. It yeah. Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much um, that you give us all the blessings you give us. We pray that you be with us all today. Be with Tanner as she is um, doing the things she is doing today. I pray that we would be with Christy during the loss of her brother. Pray that you would be with everybody who's sick and help them to get better. And I pray those of us who are healthy would continue to be healthy. Pray that we could get everything done today and keep us all safe. In Jesus' name I pray. Mm -hmm. All right, that was our morning staff meeting. Um, and we always have a morning prayer um, with everyone before we head out 
we'll do our different various things for the day. Um, <clears throat> none of this would be here without God. I, f I thoroughly, thoroughly believe. Um, of course, Plus is so blessed, and we are so grateful. So we always start the morning day with prayer. How's your day going? Oh, it's going great. I was just <laughs> All right, got to get busy. One of the things I've been working on this morning is getting our Amazon wish list updated. And I'm adding things that um, we could really use. Um, and so hopefully you can see the screen here and me. Okay, so I'm just going to turn around where you can see what um, I've added to the wish list. All right, so um, we could really use some of these mats to put down, um, especially in areas where there's a lot of wet, slippery areas. Um, these mats, these are actually gym mats, but we're gonna be using them in the surgery room. Um, and we need to put them on the walls. Um, we need quite a few of them. Um, the surgery room is 20 by 20. And um, so, we would want to put uh, preferably these really heavy duty ones down lower and then these ones up higher. Um, so uh, definitely we could use those. Um, I've added some medical um, type equipment here that would be amazing to have. Um, this one, we, if we get that, that would be really nice. Um, we on the last, um, the eye removal surgery, which you're going to see in this episode, but there's been some videos released. Um, I held a little flashlight, um, for our vet, like the whole time, other than Casey and I, we were switching back and forth, but a headlamp for a veterinarian would be amazing. Um, when we're doing spay neuters, this would be really nice to have. Um, so there is some, this, this would be really nice to have that we could have, um, mounted to the ceiling above the stock um, so we could pull it down and have good lighting there um, it would be really nice to have too um, this is a floor lamp um, that's rolling and I'm gonna add a few other um, things that we would um, really appreciate having um, and if you scroll down you'll see a lot of toys um, we do an annual toy drive for the kids in our community um, who don't have a good Christmas. We live in a really poor area um, of Tennessee. And um, so yeah, there's some toys there. Um, so if you wanna check out our Amazon wish list, there is a link in the description, <clears throat> there's a link in the description of this video. So check it out, Horse Plus Humane Society's wish list. Hey, John. Bo -bo. <laughs> oh. That's definitely the, the father of this. That is a huge chicken. What happened to your legs? Hmm? What happened to your legs? He's riding the chicken. Yeah, but your legs shrunk. <laughs> I, I thought you were telling him that. Too short, yeah. What happened? Chicken or riding a chicken. Look at that. Does that make your day better, John? Yes. I, I, I've, I've been motivated 200%. <laughs> oh my god. You want it to fall? It's too dirty. Wow. That is, that's great. That's great. I need one. I need one. My motivation just skyrocketed to 300%. <laughs> Alright, so you get the project done now, right? It's done. Oh, it's that's, done. That's, that's how good it oh, is. Oh, that's your There's, reward. You get yeah, to see the big yeah, chicken because yeah, you got it done. Yeah. It's done where I want it to be done, but not done where you want it to be done. So, yeah. <laughs> we had the chicken that we took through the parade, and um, we ended up saying, you know what, John was not at the parade. We had to bring the chicken and show the chicken to John, and he liked it. So we're all getting obsessed with showing chickens to John. It's kind of weird, but anyways, uh, back to work. 
Angela and I have been here opening the packages for our Amazon wish list, and we have lots and lots of packages here. We have amazing gifts that we have gotten for the horses, and Angela is going to open the next one. And um, oh my goodness, so basically, more blankets. Yeah, more blankets. That's awesome. So basically, I video just things happening during the day, and um, and it's all going into just more of a vlog style episode so if you'd like to watch that um if you for you all um head over to our youtube channel check it out and these ones that i'm recording now will actually be released in january um so uh all right just hopped on here just for a little bit so they could see what i'm doing behind the scenes through through the day as life goes on i don't know this is getting awkward but i'm gonna sh <laughs> shut this off and get back to opening up the packages well it is the end of our work week um so we work monday through thursdays of course people come in um during the weekend and friday and everything taking care of the animals but we are wrapping up and um it's still raining i really hope next week it stops raining this is the wettest um <clears throat> week we've had in a long time but um the nice thing that's happening is Rebecca and um, David, they're going to take home Luke. Uh, Luke's a husky dog and um, they're going to take him home for the weekend and see if he works with their family um, and their other dogs. So uh, we're going to say goodbye to Luke. They're going to be driving over to pick him up and I'll film that and that will be wrapping up what happened this week. And I hope you um, have been enjoying this video. If you do, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and watch more of our videos. Um, so you should be driving over here soon. There they come. All right. Hi, Luke. You can go, you can go home with him. Yeah. Good, Luke. All right, they're going to run and go get a crate um, to take the dog home in and we'll show you some of the other dogs we have here. We have an adoption event on Sunday. Um, so we've got a lot of dogs here that need homes and I always love it when staff takes uh, animals home too. Did you just wake up? You're sleeping, huh? I know, I know. I know, you hear me? Hi you, hi you, hi you. This dog was surrendered this week and it's such a sweet dog. You're just so sweet. You are. We hear ya. We hear ya. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, there you are. The good doogie. We need to get you guys home, Tom. Huh? We're trying. Hey, big guy. Hey. Hey, you. Hi. Oh, there's a good doogie. Hi, you good dog. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I know. You're a good boy down here. Yes, you are. How are you? How are you doing? Here you are, baby. Hi, you. I know, I know. Yes, it's you. Well, as you can see, our barn is mostly filled up with dogs right now, but we're really hoping our adoption event um, is a huge success and we can get them into homes. We've been working on transferring them out to other organizations and um, we just have a few, a few left here. Sorry, I'm cleaning up stuff as walking around. And um, Dave and Rebecca just went over to the other barn to get a crate. And I'm just going to keep picking stuff up. They're ready yet. Yeah, they're over there. There's more dogs over there too. We have dogs everywhere. The nice thing is they're all comfy and having a, uh, a great doggy vacation here. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm still trying to move stuff around. Er, this is big cardboard. 
right. Well. Yeah. Oh, hi, kitty. Hi, kitty, kitty. have a lot of cats um, and we adopt out cats but we do have some cats that aren't the most adoptable and we will release them as barn cats um, and they do help keep the mice down and all those good things um, but they're not the most friendly cats I mean that's why we keep them here is because they're really not adoptable to the public because they're not very friendly so um, that was one of our barn cats and if they do become super friendly and want to be with people then they go back into our adoption program So it works really well. We've had some cats that were super scared We've turned them loose as barn cats and then they've warmed up to us so much that we're able to put them back into the adoption program And they get adopted so um, It works. It works pretty good. I know I know you're coming for you. They're gonna take you home Hello. Oh. You wanna help? Oh. 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 Are you gonna help? Oh. 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 oh you good dog. How you do doggy Luke? Yeah, a little dog. Oh. 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 dogs okay well this is probably getting a little bit too much for uh <clears throat> your ears maybe oh, but we can't resist oh I know, Luke. We're happy for you. Okay, I'm still waiting here, but it looks like they're having trouble figuring out which crate fits in the car. I think they're getting it, though. Clean oh, yeah, I already do. <laughs> All right, All right have a good weekend. See you. Bye. Bye. All right, so now Luke is headed off, and I got to get all the packages inside the office. And Jason's probably wrapping up with the media stuff. Usually by this time, nobody else is here. They've all headed home, but there's uh, 
there's always somebody here because there are people that live on site, um, different places on the property. Um, but everything is wrapping down and starting to get quiet. I just hope next week it's not so wet. All right. I'm gonna put these packages in Angela's office. Christy. And we'll go see what uh, Jason's up to. That was a really good episode. Very, very fun. I think everyone liked the Christmas party. Well, we lost the other thing, yet, but I'm not surprising. Well, it's not horses, but yeah. a lot of people, people really like Tanner singing. Mm -hmm. That was fun. <clears throat> so, just... how much longer do you think you'll be? Five minutes. Yeah. All right.